In this episode, we're going to take a look at another great new feature of Illustrator CS5, and that is called Draw Inside. There's actually a bunch of drawing modes now, but Draw Inside is the one that we're going to take a look at today because it can become very, very useful in your workflow. Uh, so it's, I thought it was a great thing to point out. Now, again, we are in Illustrator CS5, so you will need the newest version to be able to have this available to you. Uh, if you don't, no worries. Just you can watch along and see if maybe this is an yet another thing that can uh, help you out in your workflow and maybe another reason for you to upgrade to the newest version of Creative Suite. Before we get started, though, this podcast is being brought to you by GoToMeeting, and with GoToMeeting, you can do more and travel less. And you do this by hosting meetings online. Now, typically in a meeting, you're going to need to so show people some kind of progress, show them what's going on, and generally you're going to do that from your computer. Well, why not have them stay where they're at instead of traveling to you and host your meeting that way? So you would start the meeting with GoToMeeting. They actually attend the meeting through their web browser. They can stay in their office, whether it's across the country, across the city, it doesn't matter. They stay where they are and they can actually see what's going on on your desktop. So you can demonstrate stuff, you can show them the progress you've been making. Plus you talk to them over the phone or over voice over IP or both. And that way you're having that live experience that you would in as, just like you would in a meeting. So they can see everything that's going on. You can show them everything. They save money because they're not traveling to see you. And you save also because you pay one flat rate and you meet as many times as you need to. If you want to check this out for free, you can download the software. Just go to this URL, gotomeeting.com slash techpodcasts. That's gotomeeting.com slash techpodcasts. Uh, download the software, try it out, and see if it's something that's going to work for you. All right, so we, once again, just to put the disclaimer out, we are in Illustrator CS5. So again, if you don't have CS5, you have CS4 or anything below that, this will not be available to you. It's brand new and a very, very cool, very exciting thing. So we have these new drawing modes, and the first thing is to figure out where they are. If we look right above the screen modes, you'll see that there's three buttons here. And if you hover over them, it'll tell you what it is. So there's normal. There's one called draw behind. And then the one that we're really going to look at is draw inside, which is a great new one. So the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to talk about uh, actually putting a picture into text. It's something that you probably had to do at least once or twice, you know, going through these jobs. So there's always been ways to do this. Uh, it's a little bit easier sometimes in Photoshop to do these things, but there's, there's definitely tons of ways to do it in Illustrator. But now there's a really great way to do it, and that's using this draw inside feature. So the first thing I'm going to do is type out some text here. And I made it, made sure it was nice and thick so we can see the picture through it once I get it in there. So once I have my type typed out here, sound a little weird, uh, I'm going to actually switch it over to this draw inside mode. And when I do that, it puts these little dotted lines around the corners here, and that's how I know that I'm in draw inside mode. Now all I have to do very quickly is just select my object or my picture that I want to put in there. I'm going to Command C or Control C to, to copy it. And I'm going to click on my text and then paste it right in there. And voila. And the great thing about this is this is still live type. So I can click in here. I can change it to something else. And I have maximum control. Now I'm in the group right now. If I double click to get out, I can see I can move my type around. If I go back in by double clicking it, I'm in the group again. Now you notice when you hover, I can see the outline of this picture in the background. Now I can move it around to, to make it where, wherever I want it to be, which is a great thing. So a, an excellent way to basically use a, kind of a clipping mask type of mentality to put a picture into text. Now let's look at some of the other things we can do with this since I already have that going on. Um, you can actually draw inside of this. The thing is called draw inside in the first place. We can actually draw inside of this text. So the way I'm going to do this is I actually want to double click it again to get inside the group. And then I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool. I'm going to make sure it's nice and big and grab a color here. And then I can just paint wherever I want. And this is the beauty of this thing. I can paint wherever I want all over my word and it's only going to show up inside of the letters because I said I want to draw inside of that object and that's what I said to that so it's basically gonna mask out anything that's not inside of the type and again we have our our stylized type here oops try and actually get on the type 
and I can still go ahead and change the type at any time. So very versatile, very easy to use. And then the other thing here we can look at real quick is draw behind. Uh, this one I'd say a little less useful just because of the fact that if I wanted to draw behind something, I could always just make another layer and draw behind it that way. But this makes it a little bit easier to not have to worry about what's going on on top because it'll automatically throw it back behind it. So, and the same thing goes for shapes. If I was going to make a shape, again, all I need to do is have that thing selected and say I want to draw inside by clicking this button. And then again, I can just grab my paintbrush select a color and whatever I do it's only going to draw inside of that object that I told it to only draw inside of so pretty cool stuff I think it could probably help out your workflow it's a nice little addition it definitely makes putting images inside of text that much easier so that's a great feature as well but I think something that you could probably work into your workflow and, and uh, maybe speed up a couple processes that were maybe a little more time consuming before but uh, another great feature for Illustrator CS5 and we'll see you on the next app clinic